Jagawa Mudaka is my name. Um, I like giving stories uh, for myself because, like I said, it's always good to learn from experiences because um, that is the best way we learn. We say experience is the best teacher. And to be really honest, <clears throat> uh, so I, I may have to move. I'm at the car wash, so I may have to move. So we say experience is the best teacher. And the best way to talk about these things is when the story has, are coming from us. We'll give a little story about me and my father. So um, my father, um, anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about father wounds in our lives. Okay, let's talk about father wounds. So what is the father wound? Or when you say that you have a father wound or because we say that we are wounded, most of you, especially our, not just the women, but even the men, you are suffering from what we call a father wound. Like what exactly is a father wound? Someone is saying I have echo. So now, what about now if I hold the phone? Do I still have echo? Or should I restart the, 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 should I restart the video? Do I still have echo? Am I still echoing? Let me know before I continue because there's no need of a continuing if I still have an echo. Do I still have an echo? Nikosawa. Nice. So, shout out to uh, everybody in the comments. Mama Moidhi again, Nidayo, Kenyuashi, Ukosawa. You are good, no echo. Leopard. Shout out to Leopard and everybody in the comments. So now, um, father wounds. So, a father wound is the pain and the shame or what you can call the embarrassment um, that a father carries. Okay, so our fathers carry a lot of embarrassment. They carry a lot of pain. They carry a lot of shame. Some of your fathers were, uh, what you can say, they were uh, molested by their fathers. Some of your fathers were raped because we don't talk about these things enough. So this shame that is carried by your fathers, today we are talking about the father wound. So these shames that are carried by you, I don't think my camera is clear. Let's wipe this shit up. Let's wipe this shit up. I think that's better. So this shame that is carried by your fathers is unconsciously, so it is in their psyche. So this piece is unconsciously passed down to the children. So you know about epigenetics. Epigenetics is whereby you have seen those children. Penginu mena mali, you may visit mali. You look at the child and without, you don't even, to, you don't need to be told. You can tell a child mwenye wako na shida. Unenda kutembea mali, unasikia mtu wakisema, eh, 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 eh. Ako katoto kanaka shida. Like, you don't even have to be told that you mtoto wa shibi. You can tell by just looking. It doesn't matter how well they are dressed. So, this shame is passed down unconsciously through your fathers when they give birth to Gajarano Kirimaini. So the fatherhood is developed when we are raised by fathers who parent from their survival brain. So you have fathers who, when they are raising, we are fathers who, when they are raising their children, they are raising their children out of their survival brain. Okay, that is why it is so very important you, you even choose the person you're having a baby with. Okay, they are, um, they are raising their children on what you can call a survival brain due to their own unsolved trauma. So a lot of your fathers, a lot of your husbands, a lot of your boyfriends, okay, they have a lot of unresolved trauma. Ah, vijana wote, ah, bitter males, unona waki watch football on the weekend. They have nothing between their ears, it's only football. Unakuta a group of men, wamepak piki piki, 20, 30 men, or men in cars and everything. Na wanongelea team, ni kama ni mama yao. Hey, team ya nyue hore to hawae. Those kind of... So this is showing you that we have a lot of father wounds in the community. You have never addressed your atrocities during the days of Mau Mau. Okay? During the days of Mau Mau, 
you never address those issues you are not you don't have counseling services in your country when you go to other countries like uh what were vietnam who most of them they blew their brains out they shot their brains out after the war most of your grandfathers munaonanga hapo wameletwa kwa tv you like repeating sad stories munapenda sana ku share their videos on tiktok video kama hii amwezi share on TikTok but video kama hizo za upuzi ndio mnapenda ku share on TikTok at i used to fight for mau mau on an idara they work here they shut the fuck up do you know how many issues you are dealing with today you should have gone for counseling you should have gone for trauma as a community you should have communities or people who address those kind of issues okay fuck the king of england how about you become the king jorogewa boy How about you talk about you becoming the king? Why do you like giving stories of other people? Fuck the king of England. He's not my king. He's the king of England and fuck England too. So, sasa ndio tunaongelea. Sasa uko na father trauma sasa wewe. Joyo aboy. Now you are you care about the the king of England. How about your father become a king ama uko a king? This is the exact things we are talking about. Okay? He can do whatever he wants. This is not your country. Na nimekuambia Kenya ni yenu. Adi anakuja kufanya nini huku? This is not your country. You have no country. You have a location. This is just a location where you are born. Kama ungekuwa mamako ama babako ange travel another country, Rwanda, Uganda, wherever, uzaliwe huko. Akuje huko tena ungeuliza ati anakuja kufanya nini huko? Get out of this mentality of this is your country. This is not your country. Go out and spread your tentacles also. Toka hapa enda ununue shamba Rwanda. But that's not the point. And then again, I'm not coming to you. You know, the, I have my moon in Leo. Okay, I have my Mercury in Aries. So that is how I communicate. Kwa hivyo sisemwe um eh uh, itakuwa kitu kama hiyo. Don't, don't don't think at ni kona ubaya. That's how I speak sometimes, okay? Now Kuna mtu anaweza question. Wewe one, dai oje what can one do when one spouse listen to their parents and advice? You wait until I'm done live. So then andikanga hapa ki you and I'm going to ask you a question. You wait for the live then you can ask your question. Imesema hapo iko na title. Let's heal or let's do affirmations to heal father wound. So I finish the video you do the affirmation then you can ask the questions. Stop distracting me, okay? You like the live, tap the screen or share or keep it moving. So the father wound is those pains, the shame, okay? The embarrassment. Ati babako amekulea akiangalia uh, majirani wake wa kithrive. Okay babako ni mtu but up to today babako anaombanga lift alikuwa anaomba lift akipeleka shule up to date anakuombangia mkikutana yako na dai hiyo lift ni the wanga ni how those those kind of shames so that father wound is developed when you are raised by fathers who are going to parent you from their survival brain due to their own unresolved traumas all these sons of mau mau akina gashagua they have father wounds ndio maana nasimama mbele wewe you are a vice president na unajita mtoto wa mau mau as a vice president you have not even you don't even understand your position the position you hold as the vice president whereby as the vice president badau tuna kusema you are the son of the mau mau unaweza kuwa sasa the leader sasa bibi yako dorcas ndio anaenda kushika wa levi ati ana rehabilitate because you have unresolved traumas yourself you have never resolved your own traumas as a vice president you think you have resolved you have not ndio maana mnaenda kutembea na mwevaa mama night gown england unatupigia picha kwa sababu you, you 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 have to brush it on us that you have made it because we voted for you remember it is the people who voted for you it is the people who vote you in that position sasa unaenda kutapikia watu unaenda kutuonyesha ati ati uko na mabathroom So when a man has a core belief that he is broken like your deputy de president he believes he was broken he believes he's a son of the mau mau okay he believes he's unlovable he's unlovable he, he believes he's not worthy of the people so that is why he travel he has to show you at he akona bibi yake huko because he needs your love okay he feels he's not worthy of the people unless he shares picture okay He feels he doesn't get your love. He's still the vice president, but Anna, you are love. I'm speaking about men and their traumas. Okay? So he struggles with what you call emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy is the position where now you know you are worth. You don't need to show us as a vice president at at we are walking in England. Fuck you are walking. At we are walking in Mount Kenya exercise. You don't you have never exercised in your life. Okay? These are father wounds. You see them.
So this makes these people prone to sabotaging behaviors. Hiyo ndio inaitangwa sabotaging behaviors. Unaona mtu ameamka siku moja amepiga bibi yake, amefukuza bibi yake na walikuwa wanaishi vizuri. Ujui ni nini? Father wounds. Okay? So this behavior, these sabotaging behaviors look like what? How can you say this is a sabotaging behavior? Drinking, addiction. Most of you men are addicted to drinking. Okay? Most of your men are addicted to drinking. You don't even have the money to drink. Hata sijui mnakunywanga nini. Madeni uko nayo na bado unakunywa. And it's of traumas, father wounds. Okay? Addictions. Betrayal. Kazi yenu ni kubetray each other. You can't do a business with anyone in this country. These men are used to backstabbing. You don't even know how to create communities. Black men are the most betraying people. You are the biggest snitches. Ndio hata mnatengeneza music. Snitches get stitches. Okay you don't you don't have royalty in anything the biggest problem again you have is avoidance you like avoiding issues you cannot resolve issues in your house bibi akikuja henda kwa dodera towalie tarakanya bethie eto kwalia madhaa mau magi you take your keys you run you are running from everything a girl approaches you you know i'm pregnant you made me pregnant avoidance issues you don't want to talk about it you don't want to man up but the issues are the father wounds that you are carrying so when your children trigger your insecurities and your repressed traumas because this one they repressed traumas you have never addressed them oh you are the children of mau mau oh you were enslaved oh you are like this no no one has enslaved you when they are passing the bills you cannot share seeds in kenya no one has betrayed you ulikuwa wapi eh when other people munaitanga keyboard warriors as you keyboard warrior now you cannot share seeds in kenya unanua mbegu kenya Mfuko ya 2 kg unaambiwa ni 850. Mahindi imepakwa rangi atiko na dawa. Na kaka nonsense. Dada dada kwa da bebe ya dawa. Manke. Wewe unanaga ni kama ni msitu gani na meanga na dawa? Father wounds, issues. So when your children trigger your insecurities, your repressed traumas, you immediately become defensive. You act out. You are fighting in the house. You are lashing at the woman. Wewe usijumelea watoto nini? You yell out of the shame or you give silent treatment. You're not talking to your wives or, or women in the house. Unawanyamazia upigie simu the whole day. Silent treatment without any awareness of how your mood and behavior is affecting those around you. Your children again, you are repeating the same generational curses, the same generational traumas because you don't want to heal. Men nowadays all you want to do is talk 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 more than women football talk 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 more than women unapitia mahali una drum na sikia eh unafunga break nike eh ni adu marona movie na ko igoro you are like fuck haya hao ni wanaume wanapiga nduru hivyo shouting more than women and resolve traumas cuz you left all of you you went to the church you went to religion escapism and what is happening children who grow up in these environments They internalize these core beliefs that something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with me. So your children think that there's something wrong with them. You are watoto wenu sasa hizi wanafikiria kuna kitu mbaya na wao. Something is wrong with me. I think I have caused my father's behavior. I think I'm the reason my father abandoned me. I think I'm the I'm the reason my father is rejecting me. So you are passing your wounds down genetically or generationally to your children now your children are walking children full of trauma because of your avoidance shout out to monjiro my spouse scorpion queen the other day she was talking about how men are never in the house you don't even take time to speak to your, you don't even know your children the only time you talk to your boy ni kumwambia no anya ni rarua mwakoyo unaona ndio umefanya kitu ya maana sana ni rarua mwakoyo mwakoyo ni okorua that is the only time you talk to your boy When it is, na unasa unaona umeongea na yeye sana. Hii mwaka utatairi. Sasa that is the only conversation you can have with your boy and you can't wait to send him to boarding school akuondoke. Ni aruya the boarding akuondoke. You have father issues you have not dealt with. Now your child is going up thinking why is my father rejecting me? Why is my father abandoning me in a boarding school because abio ni abandonment. Unaweza fikiria ni venye una uko hauna space na umetujengea kinyumba hapa flat roof 10 rooms a house not a home but you always kana watoto wako kwa nyumba yako you can't wait for your children to be gone sasa hizi nimeona mmeanza ku complain sasa watoto wako nyumbani for two months 
you have already started complaining because you have no relationship with your children. You are like your fathers and your grandmothers and your grandfathers. Generational curses and traumas in Ajirudia. You do not like taking care of your children. You look at white people, the way they behave with their children, with their mouths on the floor. Oh my God, aki, watoto wazungu na rayangu wa vizuri, eh, nyef, nyef. Ukotu na, na, na melanin. You have nothing apart from pigmentation of black. You see, if you don't like my conversation, you can keep it scrolling. You don't even have to tap the screen or share the live. It's too painful for you. So children who grow up in this kind of environments, they have this internalization or they internalize these core behaviors that they are unlovable, that they should be rejected. And these are the children you are raising. So all your prayers, you can go to the church for 2,000 years you have been praying. Nothing is going to change. Akuna kituta badilika. The same way you treat your father now. The same way your father was treated with your grandfather is the same way you are treating your children. It may look different. afford thousand shillings. What is this stupid channel? Netflix. Netflix. You don't want anything to do with parenting. You think TV can parent for you. The teachers can raise your children. You have no, no, no business there. So what happens? These father wounds, they create issues with your self-esteem. So a lot of your men have low self-esteem. This makes you more prone to dysfunctional relationships, the relationships you get yourself into. Your girlfriend, Kimuangalia, those dysfunctional relationships whereby you are enabling or you are, you are, sasa naeza ita nini? How can I call it now? So this is what is happening to your children. Or this is what is happening to you because you never healed from your fatherhood. So the relationships you are in, if they are not working, so a relationship is not working. Kabisa, kabisa, this relationship is not going anywhere. You are not in comp compatible in any way, shape or form. Kila siku ni kelele. You don't even make love to your women. There, there's, it's just, Shit. But instead of you leaving that relationship, you stay trying harder to be loved because you have other issues. Because your father never loved you. So you stay in a bad relationship as you try harder to be loved now. Instead of leaving that um, unbalanced relationship that you are in, you want to stay longer and try to be loved harder. This goes both ways for even the women. Even the women, you have daddy issues and father issues. So, uko in a relationship, and you nachapwa, and I know most of you, si mna kujanga kwa DM yangu, and once you learn kidogo, ukienza kuona it's about working on your shadow and the healing, you run away, you don't even, when you see me, you live unapita, kwa sababu tayi kuzikia ukweli, because you have father wounds. You have, you have father wounds. You want to stay in an abusive relationship because you think, Kathe, so, because you don't want to leave these bad relationships, because you have father wounds, so you are in an unbalanced relationship. The same way with your children now. Work a relationship very... So they are going to set off for bad relationships because of your father wounds and the only way you can heal your father wound is when you understand that your father is a reflection of their past my father was very abusive my father broke my last born sister's tooth my father alikuwa na tuchapa na tukata na wembe alikuwa na tufunga na migu anatueka kwa tanki ya maji head down my father used to break my mom's mukono my mom never left him why? Because my mother, Pia alikuwa na father wounds. Pia alikuwa me grow up, akiona my babu, my father's dad, my father, my 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 mother's father, akichapa my mother's mother, my grandmother. So these father wounds, because you do not understand that your fathers are a reflection of their past, and their past has got nothing to do with you at all. Okay, the way they treat you, the way your father treats you, 
has got nothing to do with you. Wewe si makosa yako, hiyo si makosa yako, hiyo si makosa yako. If your father shows up or they don't show up in school for you in any way shape or form, it is still not their fault. It is as a result of their fathers. The dynasties when you mnapenda kufuata they know and understand those things they take care of their children they address their father wounds addressing father wounds is going to your father and saying look here i'm a grown man now okay misa zote nikikuja hapa unajaribu kunipea advice avenye nafaa kukaa na bibi yangu you cannot advise me on how to stay with my wife you already separated from my mother 10 years 15 years plus as soon as i can take example gani a relationship what kind of marriage advice can you give me when you don't stay with my mother you are the wrong person I should not even be giving you an ear. I'll take what I can see good from you. I'll take one good thing from you or two good things. However, I cannot be out there thinking that you have molded me into a perfect father figure. So you are uh, how do I put this? Some, some of these conversations are even hard because you respect your parents you have been programmed to think that your parents are god even how they treat you to the point you cannot have these kind of conversations i wish i could show you the kind of conversations now that i have with my i wish i could just show you and i think i'll create um a website where i'll have a newsletter where i can be having printouts of these kind of things you will understand what it means okay you can rebuild your sense of self where if you having father wounds as a woman or a man you need to rebuild your sense of self you can break free from these generational curses and traumas and patterns of your fathers and you can build new futures for your children start parenting your children differently now start changing the way you talk to your children stop shouting at your children stop beating your children in this year you should not be touching your child <clears throat> at all have decent conversations with your children this these are very different children they can listen now okay but sasa unataka kulea watoto unaambia mtu anavavai to nigua delire when i look at you you're not a good example muko kupayuka tiktok ege koyo watada e men muko na mushene kuliko wanawake your father wounds women are even better wa mama wanatengeneza chama Unaona wameenda ku hike hapa Mount Longonot women are even doing better driving than men imagine women are more into feelings but at least they are even trying to heal women ndio wanakujanga consultations kwangu they are the women who are ready to change their families men i i sutaenda ukunywa kanudhu shame on you no 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 community will ever stand unless a community stands by wakiwa pamoja collectively they heal So if you are healing from this or you are in a position where uh, 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 you are not comfortable and shout out to the people who reach out I also have like for example after this call I have to call some people some of you for some of these people they work in your media stations big people for you in media stations they have to call me and we have to talk on the phone and they have to sometimes they have even to cry I tell them you can cry just lia tu hiyo kitu ikutoke men mwenye mnakimbianga kuwaona news hapa jioni and when you on tv but that that was not the point now so now let's do some affirmations to heal the father wound and now we are going to do them with you nisasa so there's no shame in this i know some of you are ashamed pengine wherever you are watching me from you may feel shame but remember is in izako you are born alone you will die alone mukimaliza na watu mnashinanga mukitembea na huku unananga unaingia kwa kitanda yako unaona wakuta bibi yako na watoto yako hawa watu na wachanga nje you don't go with them home so start taking the initiative to heal self without involving these motherfuckers out there people don't care about you don't think that people care about you these are total strangers for example most of you watching me we are total strangers we have never met maybe you feel a familiarity because of the content and you feel like you are family because maybe you are a so group jenga na jenga na kitu but most of you are strangers okay the same way most of the people you meet out there are strangers ukiingia kwa matatu all those people are strangers so who gives a fuck about strangers so let's do some um affirmations to heal the father wound and you can write this down if you're not going to do them now where's the andike shout out to shining star write down the affirmation somewhere 
And these ones you can do at your own private time. However, if you want to do them now, you can do them with me. So you take your right hand. There's a reason why it is your right hand. Remember on this channel, we don't ponder. This is an esoteric page. Your right hand, remember, the right hand or the right side of the body is controlled by the left side of the brain. The left side of the brain is logic, thought, na bitu kama hizo. The left side of the body is controlled by the right side of the brain. This will be imagination of it to come out. That is why you use the right hand when you are doing rituals. That is why, and I close my heart and I hope to die. Or that is why they tell you, use your right hand. Or take your right hand and place it across your heart. Because your right hand is connected to your emotions and feelings or your heart area. So take your right hand right now. Place it on your heart if you are home. If you're not home, if you're in a public place and you're embarrassed, you can write this down. Take your right hand and place it across your heart. Then you say this. Now, go in a very quiet place. I would, I would prefer you write them down. Then when them are kumenya maza sana. Okay? Do this in a, in a place that is very quiet. Take your right hand, place it across your chest. Relax in a nice place that you are cool and safe and, and, and you are feeling peaceful. Uh, shout out to Acha to Medi. And then you say, I deserve kindness. So this is for both males and women. I deserve kindness. And you may cry. So I'm, I'm, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. This is so emotional. Especially when you put your hand over your heart area. You may cry, but it's okay to cry. So you take your right hand, close your heart and say this. We are the cowards, so ignore the water. I deserve kindness. I am not my father's anger. I do not deserve or create his rage. That was his to deal with. I repeat, for those who are writing for these affirmations to heal father wounds, I deserve kindness. Okay? I am not my father's anger or rage. I do not deserve his or I did not create his rage towards me. That was his to deal with. Those were his problems to deal with. So when you are making affirmations, create affirmations that resonate with you. You can even, the best way to say them is in your own mother tongue or language. So after this, you can interpret them. For example, in Kiku, you can say, Nie tinie marakarama vava wito. Marakarama vava wito timakwa. Mahitia make nore liwake tiwakwa. You get what I'm saying? Now we go to the other one. You still have your right hand across your chest. You say this. I am proud of me. My father didn't approve of himself. So he couldn't approve of anyone else in his life sorry about that distraction i mean the car wash i am proud of me my father didn't approve of himself so he couldn't approve of anyone else because if your father didn't approve of this of himself how could he approve for you okay that's a reflection of me not him okay okay so you can say them now in Kikuyu or in your language. I don't care what your language is, whether you are Kamba, Luya, Masai, whatever. Whatever country you are watching me, or whatever position of life, it doesn't matter what position you hold in life, whether you are a politician, a puppet, whatever you are, it doesn't matter. So you can say it in your language or translate it in your language. Nie, I'm proud of myself. Nie, nejigua geneti omuno nini mwenyewe. Okay? Baba wito de dete. Kogo dagi anya dire. Because if your father didn't love himself, how could he love you? Most of your fathers don't love themselves. How do you expect them to love your children? You women, the fathers you're having children, they don't even love themselves. Anakunyo mpako na murumi, anakuja megongesha gani. Sasa uwa tarudi ya penda watoto na mnagani. Those are telltale examples. Unatoa bonako jela. Unatoa bonako kwa mashida. Bonako na kupea STDs every day. He doesn't care about his life. How is he going to take care of your children? He has father wounds. Okay? You are doing affirmations. This can get emotional. You put your hand across your chest. This is number three. You say, I validate 
my own reality okay my father's reality is not greater or more than your own i validate my own reality you're saying an affirmation in a quiet place i want you to write them down so that you can even add something because different people have different stories okay i believe in me you don't have to believe you don't have to wait for your father to believe in you if you wait for your father to believe in you they will never never especially african fathers believe in you your father will never believe in you 1% and i repeat guaranteed only 1% of fathers will believe in their children one now ni wanyamefanya shadow work they have healed your father will never approve of anything you do you are a nuisance to them you buy the best of, whatever you buy they never approve that it is beautiful they will always make you feel small kirago ni double cap beniere ko ino ino nani alita sigana 27 cc Wauri kali kina ndio uoneke yake 27 cc ni eh ina maguta eh did get a listen to your stupid father instead of him being for, happy for you you have a big car and akwambia need get gora gari ndio ndio guo eh ni nyenda kali ka 1000 cc wewe ni yako hiyo 1000 cc take your stupid toy that's your 1000 cc of thinking trauma hiyo ni yako So don't go even expecting your father to validate you. Sasa uko hapa unasema ni kuigeruta gari ni nani ni gokireno. You want to please your father. Your father akona scarcity mindset, akona father wounds. Your parents will never approve of you. And the moment you realize this and start healing from these generational causes and trauma, mutashindanga kwa kwa wachawi, waganga, kanisa, giving your money to all these uh, 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 psychologists and you will never heal. Healing is self and you have to accept and identify that you are suffering and in pain then you deal with it you can get external help but you need to start with yourself like michael jackson i'm starting with the man in the mirror you start with your with your, with your puny ass imetumia and shout out to andrew kibe and his and his fake toxic masculinity talks at least in idea some some bitter males wana kuwa little bit uh, better so The affirmation is that whatever my father believes in okay has got nothing to do with me that is their own experience i believe in me i think we are at number four, right have we said three? what happened to the comments the comments are dry eh hey, just like you spend something on some money on something and your baba anakwambia hiyo pesa yote umetumia umejenga nyumba unasikia yeye ya uko akaka nyumba yake hiyo wiki hiyo the ndege yake na si ana siko kora siko tiga eh wewe ndio uliacho na watoto huku walea vizuri who told you that this house will not be full of children love the way i'm raising my family they can't wait to, to come to their grandfather i'll not me i'll not be old and miserable i'll always have children running down my halls whether they are mine or adopted or wamekuja kuona babu wa mashasha wapee story Your story is not my story. Kwako wa kutembea angwi. Unajifungia uko kwa gate umekaa kwako. That's you. That's your story. That's not my story. Affirmation number four, five. I don't even know where we are. You have your right hand above your heart. You repeat this. I am lovable. My father living had nothing to do with me. My father living my with my mom had everything to do with his lack of social skills hiyo haikuwa yako mamako babako ama mamako kuacha babako it had nothing to do with you it was their lack of social skills that caused that whether you are abandoned it has got nothing start healing wacha kujiweka victim they separated fuck them you now raise the best family you can with the spouse that you have kama your relationship uko nayo ikufaisaid walk now walk get away out of that relationship walk now before you are old and miserable and there's no even no one now can even marry your child sasa umeanguka matiti mianguka unafunga mshipi juu ya matiti you are old and tired you had so much trauma when you are having your children you could even push your children because of the trauma umekatakatwa tumbo si yes eh mtu akikulalia tumbo guy no end the age to you cannot even enjoy sex because you are stuck in this chaotic relationships africans you hate yourself I don't know what is wrong with you. 
there's something that you, you need mass exorcism on a big scale. All of you are possessed by the white man's demon and all this religion nonsense, but we need the church. I love the church. Shout out to the church because most of you are so mentally weak, you need the church. Ndiyo maana mnaenda kutukana na pastor nganga na mnaenda. Mtu anawatusi every day na mnacheka kwa congregation. Bwana Yesu asifieni. Every day because you have normalized abuse on yourself. Lakini mtu wake kutukana kwa matatu, umbwa. Unaita nani umbwa? Eh malaya mwanamke wewe, mwanaume malaya. Unatukana nini wewe? But in church unatukana na pastor unanyamaza. Akikwambia maombi yako ya 500, he's a man of God. Because you have embraced your trauma, they have become part of yourself. <coughs> Now, sasa tutashuka gari ifanywe vacuum. Apo. So, let's go and finish this video outside. Ni yego leta obisi? Ni yego leta obisi? Sawa. And it's raining. And I need to pee. I cannot continue this video and I need to pee. I'm going to pee. Kama unataka video ya mtu wa pee. Ati video imepakejiwa imepangwa. Hiyo ni yako. Me I have to pee. This is my life. We are going to heal. So you have your hand across your heart. So you can see this. I am lovable. My father living had got nothing to do with me. It was his lack of life skills. His inability to cope and raise children is not my fault. Your father's inability to raise children was not your fault. Your father's inability to cope with whatever was happening in his life was not your fault. That is another affirmation you can say. You can write it down. You can say it when you are alone at home. And you are going to cry, I guarantee you. Some of these things are going to make you cry. Fuck my timing for doing a timing when my 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 bladder was full. But this is nature. Most of you are not even raised at yana kujoa. Je, kwani kukojoa si natural? Kwani kukojoa si natural? Fuck your morals. Let's finish this here. Kwa hii kwa hii office ya watu wa kawash. They even have a holy bible hapa. Tukasoma hata bible leo mkitaka, but I don't have data. Now So this is the issue. Muko na Bible, muko na kila kitu, but no one seems to be uh, uh, doing the things that they are supposed to be doing now. Another affirmation, you have your right hand across your chest. I am not responsible. Okay, this is another affirmation that you can say. I am not responsible for living out a false reality. Because most of you are living out what you call false realities in your life. So you are doing an affirmation. I am not responsible for living out a false reality. I no longer live in my father's denial or repression because your fathers were in denial of their feelings they were repressed so unakata hiyo maneno kata hiyo you are breaking your curses okay kata hiyo i speak my story you are doing affirmation i speak my story secrets and dysfunctions no longer have a place in my world you no longer have stupid secrets in your home you are admitting that this is my mistake you are admitting to your relationship that i have a child out there bibi yako akitaka kukuacha juu ya mtoto wako nje akuache kwani ni nini hata yende ya heal mwambie niko na mtoto huko nje i fucked a woman out there she's pregnant she has my baby most of you are bitter males so now to escape you are breaking even the women and the children you have you own up to your mistakes if you make women pregnant out there you face your woman you tell her i fucked a woman she's pregnant let her deal with it alikuchagua na trauma zako hata yako na trauma zake you praise your right here i don't know we have affirmation number i don't even know uh, let's just keep going so unasema i am done betraying myself just because my father couldn't love me the way i needed doesn't mean that i now wewe sasa that is normal that you enter unbalanced relationships affirmations i walk away when i need to instead of trying harder to be loved this is for especially for the women when you need to walk away walk away stop trying to be loved harder ni sasa we are healing father wounds so you 
cross your heart with your right hand and you say now, another one, eh? I allow myself to feel angry because a lot of your problems is because you don't allow yourself to get angry. I allow myself to get angry. I have anger for the way I was treated. You should be angry on how your father raised you. Don't give them excuses. You should be angry how they treated you like shit. They beat you like, like a dog. You didn't deserve that. Okay? And I no longer need to cater to my father's feeling about it. Usikubali continue as abuse with your baby boomers. Our na vote is stupid governments to punish you. They know you should change the government, but they look at you with disgust. When mtoto wake, unenda kuongea siyasa na babako na kuongelesha kama mtoto. Na kuzawai sasa nini unajua? Eh? Mini likuwa wakati wa kenyata. Ni uriza siyasa. That's how your father has talked to you. Why is that you not German and Israel? Me, you're not a What? Allow yourself to feel angry when you're treated badly. Because that is a sign that you care about yourself. Another affirmation you can say you can say, I am shame free. This is very important. I am shame free. I release the shame my father carried that I inherited from him. I told you you are going to cry. Write these things down. I am shame free. I release the shame my father carried that I inherited from him because most of you have inherited a lot of shame from your fathers. I refuse to live in regret and resentment. His shame is no longer my own. Your father's shame has got nothing to do with you. Whether he fucked up, whatever he did, that is your father's shame. It has got nothing to do with you. Nisasa, shout out to everyone in the comments. Each one, teach one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now, before I go, because to me, I have a garage to Kakuta Kukona, to Kakuta Kukona Bible. Now, when I say manga, read your Bible, pray every day. We are going to open a random. I'm going to open a random, a random, because let me make sure you I'm going to open a random page. I don't even what 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 know the fucking page I've opened. What page is it? One and the before I turn. So, nimefungua Escaratias, Escaratias, chapter four. Tunesa soma. So, Escaratias, chapter four, verse 